Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode of Vanderpump Rules, Season 11, Episode 8. Let's get right into it. I, talk to so I don't need to people. humble myself to you, dude. You don't deserve it, homie. I'm just curious. I'm just asking. I, I can ask these questions. It's I don't need to give you you answers. You don't need to give me anything. You've been relentlessly you talking about me. The whole world. Okay, so we start the episode with B footage. The people are doing their thing. Most of them are with their couples. I still find it hilarious every time they show Tom and Ariana in their house being separate from one another. So Ariana is in her messy room, FaceTiming Katie. Katie is talking about a dinner that she's about to go with Lala to. As we know, last week they had a little bit of a blow up. It was also hilarious that downstairs, Tom is having some sort of get together with a whole bunch of his friends. So then we see Lala and Katie meet up. They talk about some of the little digs that they've been having towards each other recently. Lala says that when she brings up things from her past, she's always doing it in a way of giving advice not to make the situation about her katie says that she knows lala doesn't bring up things maliciously but she just wants lala to understand that her delivery can come across negatively sometimes and lala says okay i get that can you get that um can you realize that you might need to be a little softer towards me and katie says yeah i could definitely do that so they hug it out but back at Sandoval's house, as I said, he was having some party. Schwartz was there, and he told Sandoval that he felt kind of uncomfortable being there, and if Sandoval was like going to be flirting with girls and stuff, so he dips. Billy Lee introduces her new girlfriend. A lot of girls were there, and Sandoval was like flirting with them on the pool. Part of me wants to be like, "You're too old to be doing this," but I'm not judging. I'm not. I'm not gonna say he says to the girls you know again he's trying to flirt right so he's like oh i have a roommate you know just a 10-year relationship who cares i keep her locked up in the room and i slip some food through the bottom of the door oh my gosh this was so awkward so the next day sandoval's house is a mess towels on the floor drinks food chips all over the counter that poor assistant and had to be cleaning up after these people sheena comes over because she's going to talk to ariana tom was in the gym that they have inside their house so Anne lets him know so ariana tells sheena that she's going to have a little get together the next day but ariana wants to talk to sheena because she knows that sheena has been upset lately you know lisa told her so now sheena has the nerve to see that lisa vanderpump is putting words in her mouth oh my god stop sheena you're almost 40 years old. Grow the hell up. Stand on business. But she does admit that it hurt her that Ariana got dancing with the stars. Because, you know, that's something that she wanted to do when she didn't like the way she found out about it. She also tells Ariana that they haven't been as close as they have, as close as they were uh, before this. As it relates to Sandoval, Sheena tells her that she knows how Sandoval used to be with her and Ariana knows that as well. So Sheena asks, let me ask you this, you know, what if there were a time where I came up to you and I said, hey, Sandoval has really worked on himself and wants to be my friend again. Ariana says that she would probably just say to her, you're in danger, girl. Then Schwartz is hanging out with Joe. It's cute, you know, like I said last week, they should just stay. They got a little bow with that shaped as a swan. Joe got a confessional last week, and this week she was talking about how Katie is a very jealous ex. I think at some point, Schwartz and Katie are going to have to cut any connection or friendship or whatever they have, for, and I think that's the best for both of them. Later that night, the group is hanging out. Tom, they were like at some bar, restaurant, um, and then Ariana and Katie walked in, and that surprised everyone considering that Tom was there. Ariana says that she's not going to let her ex stop her from hanging out with her friends, and that's that's good. So the girls go to the patio. They were last together when Allie read their astrology thing, and she tells them that Joe reached out that she wants her stars read by Allie, and Katie says, it's giving infiltration. Like, she's just talking bad about Joe. But again, she is divorced from him. Let it go. In the words of Sweet Tea, move on. Then Sheena is talking about, uh, she's talking to Schwartz and 
that party that Sandoval just had. And then the guys tell Sheena that they had a lot of fun the other night when the guys went out and they were dressed up in suits. So Sheena starts to tell Sandoval that he needs to apologize to Katie because of what she of what he did to their divorce to their marriage because he hurt a lot of people and she brings up that he had brought up that he misses Rachel so he got so mad at Sheena like scolding him and she was just talking about this and this and this and that so he just walks out because he was really annoyed the next day Sheena and Brock are with their daughter and they are still talking about this babysitter that he wants to get the conversation quickly turned into a fight she says lower your tone and he says well it's difficult not having a schedule so getting a nanny would help you know get it all together a lady did came she, a lady arrived who could be a potential babysitter Sheena then tells Brock about the night before, and she says that, you know, I talked to Sandoval last night, but why am I even trying? Why am I even trying? She tells Brock that she also had a conversation with Ariana about what, what had been bothering her, and Brock says, you know, Ariana blew up so fast, he's kind of worried what will happen when it starts to slow down for her. So then we see Sandoval again. He's in the gym. Katie and Ariana are fixing snacks for Ariana's little party. So Sandoval leaves the gym, walks into the kitchen where Katie was. Ariana went to go get something. And Sandoval actually apologizes because he knows that's what Sheena wants and she'll appreciate it. So he apologizes to Katie. Katie then says that what he did was fathomless. She says that she would have never cheated on Schwartz. He says, well, we're not the same person. She says, stop explaining yourself. You need to start moving differently. For example, don't have pool parties like you did. He says, just give me some grace. She says, no, he feels like nothing he does will ever be good enough for Katie. But at least he apologized. And I do think Katie might have appreciated it, even though she was really closed off. Schwartz comes over. Sandoval was journaling, he does that now since he doesn't drink, and he keeps crying about Rachel cutting him out of his life, out of her life I mean. I guess he actually thought they were going to end up together, he's crying, and Schwartz says that it makes, if it makes him feel any better, he's almost at the end of this, and Sandoval says that they're treating him as if he were Scott Peterson. Then Schwartz has an idea to get Sandoval to talk to someone who could relate. The people then come over for Ariana's little get-together Listen, with all the money that she's gotten, I was expecting something better than pizza rolls and frozen taquitos. But okay. Anyway, Ariana and her friends play some never have I ever, truth or drink, a bunch of questions about cheating and sex. And they can all relate because they're all freaks. Okay, the next day, Allie meets up with Joe to do her reading. I just like that Allie was really nice and she tells her that she wants her to feel welcome into the group. And Joe says... Well, yeah, but it's pretty hard to be welcome into a group when somebody called you an anorexic crackhead ho, which is what Katie called her. I mean, what is Katie's problem? So then y'all remember Swartz said that he wanted Sandoval to talk with someone so they could so he could feel better. Well, they had an, a guy's night out. They asked Schwartz about Joe, ask him if he's if that's his secret girlfriend. He has he says no. He says that Katie doesn't like her, and they're all like, screw that, you know, just go out with whoever you want. Then it's time for the special guest, Jax Taylor. So he comes, he sits down, he's talking about his life, he's going to open up a new bar. Scannable was very upset. He wasn't thrilled seeing Jax there whatsoever. They have a long history. Tom thinks that nothing brings Jax more joy than celebrating other people's misfortunes. So Jax is throwing shade. He says that Sandoval looks good today. Because the other day he saw a picture of him on Instagram and he thought that he looked like he was 50 years old. Jax tells Sandoval, I've heard what happened. And Sandoval says, yeah, I know. That's all you've been talking about. So Jax says, listen, I have effed up. We all have, but you need to humble yourself. And Sandoval says, well, you're the last person I need to humble myself to. Sandoval says, when you did your thing, I never piled up on you like you've been doing to me. Jax says, the whole world's been talking about you. The whole world. And they're arguing. But then they calm down. Jack says that at the end of the day, they do have that long friendship. And he even has his name tattooed on his arm. Anyway, Jax talks about how life has looked like after getting fired from Vanderpump Rules. He does, he does hug Sandoval and then he leaves. So let's break the fourth wall. They did this as a crossover to the new Bravo TV show, The Valley which we will be recapping tomorrow. I actually really liked what they did. So Jax was in a, like, a Vanderpump Rules confessional. He stands up, 
he then walks to a new set, which is the Valley Confessional, and they had like Manor Pump Rules theme song fading out as he walked in. I th- I thought that was pretty clever, but that was the end of Vanderpump Brews. Again, we'll be back tomorrow to see what the Valley is about and if it's worth watching. But yeah, guys, this episode was, it was okay. Um, What did y'all think about it, though? Let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a great one.